Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about another brand new Synology. I know I've said that a lot recently, it's great stuff, but first thing straight off the bat. I've got some engineering work and some building work happening in the building next to me, so occasionally that drilling noise is going to come through. I will try to mitigate it as much as I can in post, but I apologise in advance there's the odd noise in the background. But today I want to talk about the Synology DS. 1520 plus it is kind of i think the follow-up to this the ds1019 plus this the 1019 plus was uh, probably one of my favorite five bays that synology have ever put out there and by the sound of things this newer generation unit is going to be just as good if not even better it takes certain different directions in its hardware architecture some familiar some borrowed from other product families um, in the Synology range, but let's talk about it. First and foremost, the CPU, I know you guys want to know, it is the J4125. Same CPU we saw in the DS920. It is a quad-core 2.0 gigahertz processor that could be burst up to 2.7 gigahertz per core, which is great. CPU benchmark of well in excess of 3000. It is a good CPU. We've done loads of testing with the 720 and the 920 with VMs and surveillance and software and Plex and stuff like that. It also arrives with 8 gig of DDR4 memory, 2,666 megahertz with 4 gig already soldered inside, just like the other newer generation 20s, and a sodium upgrade slot with another 4 gig already pre-installed. But after this, we see some familiar stuff, such as the NVMe SSD cache, which is great to know that we can still take advantage of that caching system. It's taken advantage of the 2280 length NVMe's, and on top of that, the system has got a number of other very familiar points. It's got USB 3 and it's got, you know, one GBE. However, the device has got two USB 3 ports and four LAN ports, which to me is real interesting. It opens the door, although they're one GBE each. That is four GBE with the support of link aggregation or port trunking, which is definitely something to be interested in. But it's not just a 4LAN version of the 920. This device also has two eSATA ports. That's right. So this 5-bay NAS, 5 hard drive bays, 2 NVMe SSD bays for caching can be expanded by two 5-bay expansions in the DX517. Hence the name DS1520, 20 series and also a maximum of 15 SATA hard drives. Supporting up to the very latest 16TB Seagate Ironwolf hard drives. And I know there are some 18TBs sort of peeking over the horizon that feature HAMR, the 1520 is definitely going to be the big, bigger brother to that of the 920. Now, the pricing we don't know a lot about right now. I think we're probably going to be looking at something in the range of, you know, uh, mid 600s, but I don't want to say too much about that without knowing full details. It's certainly going to cost more than the 920, and I do think it's going to cost more than the DS1019. Not a much, huge amount, but I do think it's going to be uh, increased in price because of the change in architecture in a number of ways and that dual expandability there. Apart from that, I mean, again, we know this CPU, we know this memory and how well it can run the likes of DSM along with virtual machines, and certainly, with that 8 gig of memory um, by default, which can't be, cannot be expanded any further, that is the official maximum, you're not going to be able to add more memory, but it's still 8 gig, which is good with that CPU for a couple of low-level VMs there in the background, and when it comes to things like surveillance, you are going to get a lot out of this system, with that expandability being very, very desirable. Now, another thing, this is of course going to be a very all set and you know ready in terms of hardware architecture for when we see DSM-7 towards the end of this year, hopefully. But for now, it does, of course, arrives with DSM-6.2 with support of Synology drives, Synology um, office applications, the collaboration suite in chat and mail and you know all those kind sort of things, surveillance station, virtualization, sta um, sorry, not virtualize, Synology virtual machine manager. Then you've got active backup and you've got hyper backup. You've got all of those tools in this combined hardware software solution. Now, of course, there is a link in the description that as compares, where I'll go into a lot more detail about this unit as well as that of information with regards to span.com and stuff like that. Now, this where this sits in the food chain is a very different story because it is to me. Um, a very interesting move for a 5-bay. A lot of us, when we first heard about this device, and again, credit goes to Black Void. They were the first to get to this before anyone else. When this was first announced, a lot of us were kind of, is this something to do with a follow-up to the PCIe series? You know, like the 1517? Or is this going to be a follow-up to the 1019? And I do think, 
obviously it's more in the architecture and you know physical build of this device but some of the features like that for um, a LAN base, uh, LAN ports there on the rear and the dual expandability to me lend to this idea that it's a combination of both of those families. Now, next, release. Now, this is not official. I, 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 you know, I'm not 100% certain on this, but from different sources have kind of informed towards the end of August, the third part of August. So somewhere probably between the 20th and the 25th, something like that, depending on where you are in the world, no doubt. But to, I am looking forward to seeing this device as certainly how it compares against the older generation unit in the 1019, if indeed it is a follow-up to it, we're still waiting for confirmation on that, as well as how it's going to fit within the greater Synology family, because we're really seeing this family move into little gradients of 50 to 70 pounds between each device, becoming a more fleshed out disk station series, which is always a good thing. But Click like if you've enjoyed this, click subscribe if you want to learn more, and visit the links in the description to find out more about this device with more updated information as we hear about it. I will see you next time.